So welcome back guys to AutoCAD tutorials. In today's session, we are going to see how to use uh, circle and ellipse. So to begin with, first from the draw panel, you can see here we have option for circle. When I will click on this flyer, I will get following options for the circle. In this many ways, we can draw a circle. So first, very simple, we will start with center radius method. So I will click on here. Now, it is saying me to specify center point of the circle. I specified a center point and now it is asking me to specify the radius of the circle so i will enter radius as for example 10 units so you can see a circle has been formed whose radius is of 10 units now let us see other option center diameter option now in this we have to first specify our center point of the circle and then we will specify diameter now, as if you can see, diameter of circle is by default showing as 20. Because in the previous example, we have entered radius as 10. So diameter automatically becomes of 20. So here I will again give 10 as my diameter. So a radius of circle, five units will be formed. So from here, we will check the dimension of both. I will take radius. So here radius is of 10. And here radius is of 5. So now let us see what two point will do in two point. We have to specify the both ends as the diameter. For example, I will take first a line say of length 10 units or say 20 units for better understanding 20 units. Okay. Now I will take a circle of two point that is saying me to specify first point of circles diameter now second end point of the circles diameter so two point method will be both point will be the diametrically opposite ends of the circle and in three point method we have to specify three points of the circle let us see this also this is my first point suppose this is my second point and this will be my third point so it will it will place circle accordingly to my three points which I will specify. So now further, we have two more options of 10, 10 radius and 10, 10, 10. So what 10, 10 radius will do, for example, if we have two lines, we have two lines like this, and we have to make a circle which will be tangent to both the lines. So what can I do is I can simply select here 10, 10 radius. I will click for the first tangent point as it is saying specify on object for first tangent of circle. Now I will specify second object for the tangent. Now I will specify the radius. So for example, radius is 10. So it will create a circle which will be tangent to both the lines. Now, for example, now I have to make, I have to make a circle or I can say a in circle, I have to make an in circle. So what I have to do is I will select 10, 10, 10. So I will just simply click first object, first point on circle tangent, second tangent point and third tangent point. It will directly create a circle which will be tangent to all the three points specified. Similarly, if I want to make a circum circle, so what I can do is I can select three point. I will click on the first point. I will click on second point and I will click on third point. So in this way, we can draw different kind of circles depending on our situation. So now let us see how ellipse work. So as you can see in draw panel, this is the ellipse option and we have a flyer next to it. So we have three options in ellipse, center, axis and, and elliptical arc. So first let us see center method. So in this, it is saying me to specify center of the ellipse. Correct. Now it is saying me to specify end point of axis. For example, end point of axis is at a distance of 100 units. Okay. Now it will ask me to specify the distance of other axis. So I will specify this as 50. So you can see a ellipse has been made and ellipse has been made over here. Whose dimensions will be from the center. I will show everything. This will be of 100 units, what we have specified. And this minor axis, 
will measure total of 100 unit and this will be 50 from the center this is the very basic method of drawing an ellipse in second method it is axis and end method so in this method we won't specify our center point we will specify two end points of axis whether it is major or minor depending upon our situation and the end point of other axis for example if i am making a major axis now so first this will be my first end point now second end point is at something 300 units now i will specify my minor axis so if my minor axis measures here 50 units total of 100 so i will specify 50 so it will create a minor axis of total length 100 units so in this way axis end method is used now to make you clear about elliptical arc first i will make some of the lines okay so let us pause the video over here i will make some lines and will write back so now as you can see i have made uh, axis x axis y axis and a reference line which is inclined at an angle of 35 degree so now i will take from here elliptical arc now it is saying me to specify axis end point of elliptical arc so i will specify this point as my end point Okay, now it is saying me to specify other end point of axis. So I will specify this. Now the minor axis, this. Now it is saying me to specify the start angle. So guys here first I will take start angle as 0 and I will again repeat the tutorial by taking start angle as 35 degree. So first I will take start angle as 0. So now you can see from where elliptical arc has been started. It has been started in the left hand side of vertical axis and tracing an anti-clockwise path. Why it has started from that side is because the first point was this point, what I have specified as my elliptical arc point. So now I will leave this here. I will take again elliptical arc and this time I will specify this as my first end point and this as my second end point. Now I will again say my start angle is 0. So you can see from, sorry, I will again do this. Specified my first point, specified my second point, specified my minor axis. And now I will again specify my start angle as 0. So now I can see from where the arc has been started. It has been started from the point which I will specify the first end point of my axis. From there, arc will be started and it will follow an counterclockwise direction so now it is saying me to specify an end angle so for example if my end angle is 90 degree so where it has gone it has came up to vertical axis now again i will specify now included angle so i will again take an elliptical arc this is my first point this is my second end point and this is the minor axis point. My start angle will be zero. Now it is saying me to specify end angle or I have a drop down list. So from there, I am pressing downward arrow key. I will take included angle. Now I will specify my included angle as 90 degree. Now again, see this arc has gone up to the vertical axis. It has followed an included angle of complete 90 degrees. Correct. Now I will repeat this procedure by making our arc to start at 35 degree so now let us see what will be the difference so here i am taking elliptical arc this is my start point this is the end point of second axis and here comes my minor axis and now my start angle will be 35 degree now i will take my included angle as 90 degree so you can see where arc has gone. It has come to this point. I will repeat this process again. Taken an elliptical arc. This is my first point. This is my second point. This is my axis end point. So my start angle will be 35 degree. Now it is asking me for the end angle. So I will specify my end angle as 90 degree. No, sorry included angle 
so it specify my included angle as 90 degree so you can see where this arc has been formed now i will make a line from here can you see this angle this angle has been made of 90 degree so this is the concept of included angle this has traced a path of 90 degree starting from this point whereas in this case it has taken my start angle 0 as origin and included angle took this 35 degree as my origin and traced a path of 90 degree from that point so this is the concept of included angle and if for an example i am taking again elliptical arc this is my first point this is my second point this is the axis end point my start angle is 35 and if i will specify my end angle is 90 degree so let us see what is the change here i have two option ellipse ka then i will select this and i will just change the color of that ellipse now i will just move it little bit upward so you can see what is the difference it has ended the angle on 90 degree considering this as base point when we specify an angle and when we take included angle this will consider the inclined line as our axis and will trace a path of 90 degree so hope so you are clear with the concept and if you like this video please do like share and subscribe thanks for watching this video